Hello YouTube, it's time to start thinking about wiring this vehicle and we're thinking that we're going to put a control panel right about here. We're going to have to build a metal box for the uh, control panel. My wife can reach the switches while she's strapped into the seat, so let's see if we can do that. We made a little plan, and there it is. And we made a life-size version of it. That's the back on one side, but it's not going to work. The reason it's not going to work is that the lights in the back of the panel would strike the back of the wall before we could get to a 45. So what we have to do is make this look bigger so that we can come down at a 45. So we're going to make another one with the top lip being one inch and we'll see if that works. After several drawn plans and a couple different prototypes, we've actually come up with one that sort of works. This uh, control panel does go in and sits the way we want it to sit, like so. And now what we got to do is do it in metal. Now we're going to have to be very accurate and we'll take our time and see if we can do it correctly. We've got a piece of metal. We've got two straight edges on it that we can rely on. They're machine cut and we'll do our first layout. First we'll do a back and a side. We need a straight line. So this gives us a nice straight line. That line needs to be 12 and an eighth inches tall. And we need to draw a line across from there. Being very careful to be accurate. Now we need to measure down an inch and three eighths, which is right there. And we got to measure up from the bottom three quarters of an inch. The width of the back is seven and three quarter inches. Our side is going to slope down at 45 degrees. So we need a 45 degree angle here. Our top lip here is one and three eighths. So we have to come down on the side one and three eighths. Right there. The length of this 45 is four and thirteen sixteenths. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right there. So we can draw a vertical line to that. Our bottom lip is an eighth of an inch. And the reason it's an eighth of an inch because that's the distance we have from this edge to the fuse holders. Draw a line from there, and we'll draw a line from there. And the width of that tab is, is three quarters of an inch. So this is probably not the most accurate way to cut, so we're just going to have to be careful and we're going to stay on the outside of the line. And there's our first piece. Now we'll clean up the sharp edges. So 
So the first thing I think we'll do is we'll bend the tabs. And this is going to go in. And this is be what we screw it down to in the car. We're going to bend this corner, unfortunately. But we can take a hammer to it, straighten it out. And now we'll bend the top tab. And this wants to be more than a 90. And finally, we got to bend the side. And we have half of our pedestal built. Looks pretty good. Now all we gotta do is build the other half. We made the second side the same way we made the first side. My mistakes are gonna be covered up by the uh, control panel. I cut this tab here a little short, and I cut this tab a little short. But it, that'll be covered up by the control panel when we put it in. Like so. So now we're going to attempt to weld it together. Here goes the first tack. This is what it looks like after it's been uh, ground down and welded. And the panel does fit like that. The way I'm going to get it to conform to the, the curvature in the floor is just to trace the outline And I'll do that several times until I get it. We'll grind to the line. Now we have to put a hole in the side for the wires to come in. And we'll put one right here in the back. And we'll put one right here in the front. Drill some holes. Now we'll drill a hole the size of a grommet and stick a grommet in it, which is easier said than done. And now we have a nice place to run our wires through. So this is what we have so far. Now we'll take it over the sandblast booth, sandblast, and then powder coat it.
Off to the sandblaster we go. We got to prepare the surface for powder coat. So out of the sandblaster, it comes with a little clean up and into the oven it goes to be outgassed at 500 degrees for 40 minutes. Out of the oven it comes to cool. And now we wait for it to cool down so we can powder coat it. Now it comes off the cooling rack and goes into the powder coat booth. We got to turn the ventilation on. and it goes again, this time at 400 degrees. And out it comes. To cool once again. We'll take a close look at it with all the sparkles. Next thing we do is assemble it. This is what it looks like all assembled. And now we'll put it in the car where it belongs. Well, we have the council in place. It's not screwed down yet because I'll have my wife sit in the seat to get the final position. But we're going to have it so she can reach it when she's built it in like this. Um, I think we accomplished what we set out to do. If you enjoyed this video, there'll be more.